Hey guys, welcome back to another shark video. And in this video, we're going to see if the Zero M technology works. How did it work over this time that we've used it? So I know a lot of you guys are waiting for this video and hopefully this will be informative and we'll be able to see how the Zero M did in this pretty aggressive environment that we put it through. Alright, so it's been about a month since we bought this Apex with the Zero M technology which Shark has upgraded. The biggest change is the head and there is some more extra power here under the hood but that's not that important. So the big change here is the head because the vacuum is already plenty power. So the biggest question I had is how well would this Zero M technology actually work? You know, some of these things are kind of like gimmicky and the way Shark presented this vacuum was they just upgraded from the old one to this. Just made kind of minor changes and changed the head but overall it looks like the old one. So a lot of times those kind of changes, you know, with some marketing, but it doesn't actually, you know, do that well, whatever they promise. So, but I'm happy to say that the Zero M technology actually works great. And the reason for that is because you guys will see in a second here that it has not collected almost anything on the brush roll. So let's go ahead and uh, pop the hood over here on this Zero M and you guys can see the proof in the pudding. So as you can see guys, there's almost nothing there. Very minimal stuff. You know, there's a little wrap around right here, but it's like like I said, it's barely anything. Like honestly, I did not expect this because because we haven't touched this roll or did any maintenance to it for almost a month, guys. And this vacuum cleans every day, two houses a day, except for Sunday. So you can imagine how much work this thing goes through and hair is everywhere you know human hair and you can see you know that it already has some battle scars even though it's pretty much only not even a month old this vacuum so so it's been working hard but look at that brush roll guys almost no hair on it but yeah it's really 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 good so the zero m works perfectly just like as they promised so it's not a gimmick Honestly, I was a little bit skeptical that it would even work because, you know, that's a pretty high promise to make because that's one of the biggest problems you have if you, you know, clean a lot, especially if you do it for a business, end up with a bunch of hair all over your brush roll there. And I can tell you guys, it has been working flawlessly. And so the the things that keep ripping the, the hairs off is probably these little teeth here. So before they're even able to wind on that roller, you know, they get cut with these teeth here which is amazing and there's nothing stuck on them or anything so and you can tell guys this, this vacuum has been working hard because this dual brush roll here has discolored greatly and the reason why I'm saying that is because here I have a more fresh one it's still used but um, this is one from our home that doesn't go out to work and you can tell how much brighter that is so this vacuum has definitely been doing its job here so so let's go ahead and open this one guys so you can kind of tell what the difference is so this roller here, it's not even like a couple weeks or so of, of usage. So depending on where you go, obviously, and how much you vacuum. But normally this would be about what you get. Sometimes a little more actually. Actually, usually a lot more than this. But in any case, as you can see, you know, this roller does collect hair and string and all kinds of craziness. But this one does not. So, and the problem when you collect hair is that it starts pushing down on these brushes here, on the bristles. And then, you know, you're not digging into your carpets or whatever that you need to to get that deeper clean, you know. So this is a pretty big difference between this guy and this guy, as you can see, guys. And it is no joke. It definitely makes a huge difference. So I would say the Zero M here has a pretty huge advantage over the old Duo Clean. Because the old Duo Clean here, even though it's still a great vacuum, 
it does have a few issues. And one of the big reasons for us is the little wheels under here that keep breaking. So if you've been on this channel for any time, you know that I've been complaining about those wheels constantly. So, so we're going to check out those wheels and how they're holding up underneath. And there's a, other few, there's a few other things that I wanted to mention here that has to do with the Apex Zero here that are a little bit annoying. And it's particularly one thing. So the annoying part of the new Apex Zero M is actually, believe it or not, this is a weird, but it's actually the hose. Like in the beginning, I thought this new hose would be better. And it sure seemed like it was in the beginning, but now that we've got to use it, it kind of sucks. And the reason for that, it's, it's actually more resistant. So if you ever need to take your handle off and like vacuum something, it actually fights with you more than you would think. Like it doesn't flex as good. It's more rigid, I guess. Sort of that way. This one, even though it's kind of an interesting design here, the way it splits up, and it actually is a lot more easier to use and feels a lot better. And one of the biggest things is the reach. Like the reach on this is not nearly as good as that. So you know, if you were able to pick your hand up all the way to reach something with this, you can't do it with this anymore. It just, you know, you just got a short kind of throw so because you can see guys that's it doesn't expand much but this one if I grab in the same spot look how low I can go you know so I, I wouldn't say it's double but it's definitely a good 30 to 40 percent more reach on this older hose so that's the only really thing that's been you know kind of like a nuisance and it does seem to do better on carpet too guys by the way so I don't know maybe it has to do with these new little flaps here but it does seem to do much better on that so but we're gonna have a later video where we test more finer particles on carpet or with the older and the newer here so so on hardwood floors they should be about the same because you know the technology is the same so yeah guys i was actually thinking you know could i use the old holes on the new one and i'm pretty sure you can so so if you were you know for some reason fed up with this other hose and you had the option of changing it there exactly looks like the same so i can go ahead and plug this one into there and this one into here and as you <laughs> as you can see I just need to change the handles around here so yeah there you go so we're flipped the handles around and we got you know our old holes back on the new vacuum alright so I laid the vacuums down so we can see under the head here and you can see here on the uh, Zero M it's pretty clean overall and these these new wheels here seem to be holding up so it's only been a month they're a little bit floppy, but they don't show any signs of degradation yet. So, but they're definitely a lot more floppier than the other ones. And maybe that's good because, you know, hair does seem to tilt to roll around there. But normally to these old ones, this is what happens to the wheel right here. This is very normal. And with our cleaning business, it, this happens probably, I think, about within three months of all of our vacuums we ever had of these kind. They, the wheels always go bad. That's just a guarantee. They're going to happen. Now, if you use this vacuum at home, then there's a low, low chance that your wheels will go bad. When you're tugging your vacuum around, you know, different places and you're, you know, unloading it, loading it, and, you know, it could be a little pretty rough on these little guys. So if you're using it at home, I mean, it could be years and years before you even have any wheel issues. So. But that's just something to think about. This older head does have that wheel issue. And here, guys, we have a older head also but it's still brand new and this one we use only at our house and you can tell I think we've only used this thing for about three weeks or so or even less actually about two weeks and you can see there's hair already collecting on this guy and this is brand new head here and if we take a look at these wheels on this brand new head because the amount of usage that this zero gets in a month it'll probably take close to a year for this guy to get there so that's how much this vacuum has been used guys and so you know whenever we have like three months of use for a vacuum you know that's already pretty impressive but normally we can easily get six months to eight months out of these sharks with no issues whatsoever and we've had them go to for a year we never had any actual like motor go bad or anything weird like that or anything stop working for weird reasons it's mostly been the little wheels and that's it basically so the rest is just normal wear and tear so so these things hold up really really well overall all right guys so hopefully that answers some of the questions about the zero m the zero m technology works very very well as you can see here 
And you know, if you're thinking about purchasing this older one because it's on sale or what, I think it's still a great deal. Like I really do because you know, you're still getting a very, very good vacuum. And you know, these things are in, all the parts are interchangeable. So even if you got a really good deal on that and eventually you just wanted to get a head, because the head is right at a hundred bucks from shark you know or you can just pick one up used somewhere on ebay or something eventually they'll be probably all over the place so if you can get a great deal on the older one it's still worth it in my opinion so we're using the older model in our, in our home so it's not a big deal you know it's it, it's an amazing vacuum so but if you have a choice to choose between the older and the new one obviously go with this guys this is going to be the best and you know especially if you have a lot of hair at home from whatever then this thing will do great you can forget about having hair being all rolled up into your brush roll there. Alright guys, so I think that will be it for this video. Well, hopefully you enjoyed it and it was informative. If you want to get the Zero M hair, I'll leave some links in the description. And also guys, go check out our other videos. We have a bunch of shark videos where we compare different ones and, you know, put in through some tests here and there that I think you might enjoy. So check those out. And if you enjoy content like this, guys, and you're not subscribed, then hit that subscribe button to see more. And as always, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.